Consider a four-digit number of the form A triple B. The first digit is A, and the last three digits are all B. So some number like four seven 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 eight five 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 something like this. Which of the following conditions is both necessary and sufficient to ensure that the four-digit number is divisible by A? And four triple seven is a divisible by four. Eight triple five is a divisible by eight. And so. This case it is not. It is not. It's a beautiful question because a triple b can be broken as a triple b can be broken as a zero 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 plus b b b. A zero 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 is definitely a multiple of a. It's thousand a. Thousand a is a multiple of a. So this question boils down to triple b is a multiple of a. What are the condition for necessary and sufficient for this to be true? Triple B as a three-digit number is 111 times B equal to K times A. The multiple of A. That's what this question is saying. It's divisible by A. 111 is three into 37 into B is a multiple of A. If B were a multiple of A, this will be satisfied. B is divisible by A. This is satisfied. And so, so if B were eight uh, and A were four. This will work. Nice. But is that a necessary condition? And is there a scenario where B is not a multiple of A and this is still satisfied? Three B could be a multiple of A. A very interesting question. Three B could be a multiple of A. So I could have a scenario where A is six and B is two. Think about number which is six triple two divided by six. This will work because there is a three sitting here. Thirty-seven is irrelevant as far as A is concerned. A cannot contain a thirty-seven. And so, but A, without being a factor of B, could end up being a factor of three along with B. And it could be very simply that B is one, A is three. So, so three triple one. Divided by three, this will go. And so, A could be a factor of B that works really. But if A is a factor of three B, that is sufficient. If A is a factor of three B, this will work. If A is a not a, it is necessary and sufficient. If A is a factor of three B, both ways it works. So three B is divisible by not just this, not this. I could have a scenario where B is not divisible by A, and still A triple B is a multiple of A. That's still possible. Because of this, this pesky three sitting here. Beautiful question.